Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to my installment of 100 favorite movies of all time 2024 edition. Today we're going to be doing like the honorable mention sort of deal uh, 2211 and we're actually going to be filming both parts today. Update, look y'all, look who doesn't have her wrist. Her wrist, I have a wrist. <laughs> look who doesn't have her brace anymore. My movement is better. So now I've moved over to strengthening up this little hand um but i don't have to wear the brace anymore i don't know if i said it in the last time in the last video but i they had me wean off the brace it was really hard because it's like my security blanket you know so i feel very vulnerable without it but i was like let's let's go ahead and do this i haven't given y'all like what i've been doing updates if you guys are new i've been kind of taking it easy this year on youtube and whenever i do certain videos i update you guys on what i'm doing so i finished the new girl i think i had mentioned at one point that i was watch rewatching that I finished that like a week or two ago and I have started Grey's Anatomy I just finished season 18 yesterday and so now I'm on season 19 but I didn't gonna put a pause on it because I saw that prison breaks on Netflix I want to rewatch Netflix Netflix I want to rewatch uh, prison break and currently I'm only listening to the final book in the devil's night series I'm not really liking the series it's just like uh, whatever and I'm gonna be starting this fantasy book Quicksilver very excited because it's been like very popular on TikTok and I like me some fantasy. I hear it's really good. If you have jump forward, welcome. I do talk a lot. Yeah, I try not to. I have been doing really, really good on the last video. Yeah, yeah. Look at my last videos. I did really. <clears throat> pat, pat. Number 20. Did y'all guess what Harry Potter, what the next Harry Potter movie was gonna come? Um, in case you did not see my last video, number uh, 21 was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two but um, the my favorite harry potter movie of all of them seems to be the least liked least loved for like most people like i don't understand it there's like dragons in this that's gonna be 2005's harry potter and the goblet of fire i just absolutely love this movie i remember going to go see this in theater so number 19 is going to be a 2004 movie this is one of my favorite like rom-com adam sandler movies i have recommended this one when i've done like a valentine's day video i think that i that i did but this is 51st dates it's just so funny so heartwarming i love it because he's just like very determined to make drew fall in love with him every single day and get to know him and she's just trying he's trying to get to know her i love it it's like it's talk about if he wanted to he would go on to number 18 this is a 2007 movie this is part three in a five part series i think it is i don't remember how many movies there are six five i think there's five parts let's just say this is not the first time that you're gonna see this particular movie you know in my list there is one higher spoiler alert top 10 this is none other than a 2007 movie that you already said that it has my husband on it and he's a little pirate parts of the caribbean at world's end the funny thing is when this movie first came out i remember not really loving it it was one of those that i was just like okay like i enjoyed it but i wasn't like loving it you know it was just like eh, whatever but then like as time went on like i just ended up falling more and more and more in love with it every single time that i watch it i get such like anxiety i get such like whoo you know number 17 this is a 1994 movie this is forrest gump if you know me you knew forrest gump was gonna be on this list at one point or another literally every single time this movie comes on no matter where it's at i will sit there stop it and like watch it from wherever it is if there's an hour left or 10 minutes left i will sit there and i will watch me some forrest gump number 16 we're going uh, a little further down the 90s we're in 94 with uh forrest gump we're gonna go a couple years later further that back we're gonna go back in time 1991 this is a great freaking um sequel that overpowers the first one okay that has gone on to make so many other movies and this is none other than terminator 2 judgment day sarah connor whoo she badass i fucking love her this is a 2016 movie this is based on a true story because you already know i love me some based on a true story movies this is one that i cry every single time that i watch it never never fails i will you already know i'm a crier y'all you already yeah should like look back how many times did i say that i cried in movies because there's literally i think every little segment of 20s that i've done i say that i cry and at least i would say two movies i think one of them i had like five movies that i said i cried this is hawkshaw ridge oh, i 
loves it. Ooh. Now we're moving on to number 14. Wait, did I miss one? Cause I missed, I totally, y'all remember when I missed Argo in my last video? I said that one, I said that one. I feel like I'm going so fast. We're going to 2011 for number 14, okay? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I hear the song in my head. We're gonna have a lot of fun driving and stealing banks, not banks, but stealing a safe and that's fast. Five. Best movie in the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise. I love me some Fast and the Furious. I mean, yes, after like part six, was it? It went, whew. I mean, it was already kind of like insane. I mean, this was insane, but like in a good way. But if you want fun and if you want cars, whew, if you haven't checked out Fast Five, check out Fast Five. Number 13, we're gonna go to 2007. We're gonna go to one of my nerdy boyfriends. I love me some Michael Sarah. This is super bad. We're gonna have McLovin. We're gonna go, you know, where he, wait, he wasn't dicing it up there. That wasn't that movie. That, wait, what? No, that was a different movie. <laughs> now, we're gonna go to number 12. This is a 1995 movie. Let me just say also that all this little section right here, actually, up until my number one, well, no, 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 like, this little section, all of these movies were either four and a half to five star stars for me. Okay, yes, including Fast and Five. Okay, because I love it. So fun, okay? That could have been, oh no, that's a lie. That was a four star. <laughs> that's the only four star. Everything else was four and a half to five stars, okay? Maybe I should move it up to four and a half so it can go. So I don't want to catch, you know, I don't want you to catch me in my life because then you'll go and you'll go on Letterboxd and you're going to be like, you said, and you try to put out the receipts. I told you I got to put those receipts put the receipts down but once we get to the top 10 i think they're there they should all be five stars from there but okay oh i should stop hitting this hand but number 12 you can love this movie i quoted uh, why well, quote this one i quote part two i quote part i quote all three of them okay because we top flight security literally every single time i eat a burrito and i put hot sauce i'm always like put some hot sauce on my burrito baby okay and then i'm always quoting you know by felicia all three of them such quote but we're talking about friday we're talking about the first one okay and i loves it number 11 is a 2006 movie this is honestly the movie that made me fall in love with cinema and really made me look at movies with like new eyes sort of deal you know it just really made me look at the overall overall everything that i've seen on screen so honestly that's kind of how i used to see film like i never really looked at the production the costumes the makeup it was just there like it was just like background noise and i was just paying attention to the characters that were talking and i was listening to their story but as far as like everything that's involved in the movie it was just like i didn't it was it was i don't even know it just wasn't important to me unfortunately it did drop because it was part of my top 10 for like years and years and years but then i rewatched it and i do still love it i do still get captivated in the movie but i don't feel like i have that enjoyment for the movie like i once did it's more like a nostalgic and i love what it brought to me and the world it opened up uh but this is one very very beautiful movie called pan's labyrinth and i just i just love the world like i said previous to lead up to this i just really shows what's in this movie and even though it is more of a darker movie, y'all already know I don't do horror, it's just done so beautifully and so magically. Oh, I just absolutely love it. I always say I'm your average Jane when it comes to movies. Like if you just want fun, just little, my two cents in movies, then I'll be your girl for you. But if you want more technical things and if you want like in-depth conversations and analysis, I am definitely not your girl because I don't, I'm not about that life, okay? <laughs> I'm not about that life. This is uh, my honorable mention section, my number 12 to number 20. Um, like I said, I'm about to film one to 10. So that way, whenever I edit, maybe I'll edit the other one and just kind of like have it scheduled. So the other part, the last part, the last bit of this won't take as long as the other ones have. Oh, my 
uh, midway, my mid-year movie tag is starting to kick off. I know we're in August, but if you guys haven't done that video, highly suggest you do it. I mean, you know, it's like a mid-year, but whatever it is, what it is. Yeah, you, you, you do it. You do it. Uh, but hopefully by this time next year, it, it goes even bigger. It's so exciting. I love a good tag. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you guys very shortly with my top 10 movies of all time, 2024 edition. I don't think I'll do this next year. Maybe I'll wait like two years in between to kind of do an updated list. Of course new movies come out. I'm watching older movies for the first time as time goes on. So the list honestly shifts just generally. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time I'll see you guys at Concessions. Bye!